story to tell. Coastal defense is a very important part of preventing enemy sea attacks. Coastal defense systems with high mobility, which can be launched from many different positions, bring huge tactical advantages. The TAP-88 coastal defense system is manufactured by Japan's largest defense industry corporation, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. TAP-88 is designated as a truck-mounted anti-ship missile system. Its development began in 1979 and was officially adopted and production commenced in 1988. The Japanese military has a total of 54 large vehicles, along with accompanying support vehicles, each carrying six Type 88 missiles for use as coastal batteries. Production of this system ceased in 2001. This coastal defense missile system uses SSM-1 anti-ship missiles. It is a ground-launched version of the Type 80 or ASM-1 anti-ship missile carried by the Japanese F-1 and F-2 close support and anti-ship fighters. The SSM-1 has a long body with more fuel and an added booster. It is generally similar to the US Harpoon and even uses some of its components. This Japanese anti-ship missile has a range of around 150 to 200 kilometers. It travels at an altitude of 5 to 6 meters above the water. On its terminal stage, the SSM-1 uses active radar homing. This missile has similar radar seeker as the US Harpoon. The SSM-1 has a high explosive warhead with some degree of armor-piercing capabilities. The TAP-88 system is based on the TAP-74 military truck. This truck has 6x6 configuration and was produced by Mitsubishi. A radar vehicle is based on the TAP-73 Kogata Light Utility Vehicle chassis. This mobile radar reaches for offshore vessels and provides target information. The TAP-88 Launcher Vehicle is also supported by a reloading vehicle based on a similar TAP-74 military truck chassis. It carries reload missiles. There is also a command post vehicle based on a TAP-73 6x6 truck. In 2015, an upgrade of the TAP-88 became operational called the TAP-12. The TAP-12 features INS with mid-car GPS guidance and better precision due to enhanced telecom and target discrimination capabilities. The weapon is network, where initial and mid cars targeting can be provided by another platforms, and also both shorter reload times, reduced life cycle costs, and a range of 200 kilometers. My video about the Japanese Type 88 missile answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.
tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.